Welcome here today, friends, to The Nameless Preacher. This is where I read the Bible, the Word of God, the Holy Scriptures. Today we have reached in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16. This is a long chapter. I may do it in two sections. I'm not sure yet. May the Word of God be a blessing to us all. We begin with God's help. Chapter 16 of Ezekiel. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations, and say, Thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem, Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Thy f father was an Amorite, and thy mother an Hittite. And as for thy nativity in the day that thou wast born, thy navel was not cut, neither wast thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou wast not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. None I pity thee to do any of these unto thee, to have compassion upon thee. But thou wast cast out in the open field to the loathing of thy person in the day that thou wast born. And when I passed by thee and saw thee polluted in thine own blood, I said unto thee, When thou wast in thy blood, live. Yea, I said unto thee, When thou wast in thy blood, live. I have caused thee to multiply as the bud of the field, and thou hast increased, and waxen great, and thou art come to excellent ornaments. Thy breasts are fashioned, and thine hair is grown, whereas thou wast naked and bare. Now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee, behold, thy time was the time of love, and I spread my skirt over thee, and covered thy nakedness. Yea, I swear unto thee, and entered into a covenant that with thee, saith the Lord God, and thou becamest mine. Then washed I thee with water, yea, I thoroughly washed away thy blood from thee, and I had toned thee with oil. I clothed thee also with broidered work, and shod thee with bradger skin. And I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thine hands, and a chain on thy neck. And I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thy ears, and a beautiful crown upon thine head. Thus wast thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen and silk, and broidered work. Thou didst eat fine flour, and honey, and oil, and thou wast exceeded beautiful and thou didst prosper into a kingdom and thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty for it was perfect through my comeliness which I had put upon thee saith the Lord God but thou didst trust in thine own beauty and playest the harlot because of thy renown and pourest out thy fornications on every one that passed by his, his it was, and of the garments thou didst take, and deckest thy high places with divers colors, and platest the harlot thereupon. The like thing shall not come, neither shall it be so. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I had given thee, and madest to thyself images of men, and didst commit whoredom with them, and tookest thy broidered garments, and coverest them, and thou hast set mine oil and mine incense before them. My meat also, which I gave thee fine flour and oil and honey wherewith I fed thee thou hast even set it before them for a sweet savour and thus it was saith the Lord God moreover thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters whom thou hast borne unto me and these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured is this of thy whoredoms a small matter that thou hast slain my children and delivered them to cause them to pass through the fire for them and in all thine abominations and thy whoredoms Thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth when thou wast naked and bare and was polluted not in thy blood. And it came to pass after all thy wickedness. Woe, woe unto thee, saith the Lord God, that thou hast also built unto thee an eminent place and hast made thee an high place in every street. Thou hast built thy high place at every head of thy way and hast made thy beauty to be abhorred and thou hast opened thy feet to every one that passed by and multiplied thy whoredoms. Thou also committed fornication with the Egyptians, thy neighbors great of flesh and hast increased thy whoredoms to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore, I have stretched out my hand over thee and have diminished thine ordinary food and delivered thee unto the will of them that hate thee, the daughters of the Philistines, which are ashamed of thy loot way. Thou hast played the whore also with the Assyrians, because thou wast unsatchable, yea, thou hast played the harlot with them, and yet couldst not be satisfied. Thou hast moreover multiplied thy fornication in the land of Canaan unto Chaldea, and yet thou wast not satisfied herewith. How weak is thy heart, saith the Lord God, seeing thou doest all these things, the work of thine imperious whorish woman, in that thou buildest thine 
eminent place in the head of every way, and makest thine high place in every street, and hast been an harlot, in that thou scornest higher. But as a wife that committest adultery, with takest strangers instead of her husband, they gave gifts to all whores. But thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers, and hirest them, that they may come unto thee on every side, for thy whore them. And the contrary is in thee from other women in thy whoredoms, whereas none followeth thee to commit whoredoms, and in that thou givest a reward, and no reward is given unto thee, therefore thou art contrary. Wherefore, O harlot, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God, because thy filthiness was poured out and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers and with all the idols of thy abominations and the blood of thy children which thou didst give unto them, behold, therefore I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure and all them that thou hast loved with all them that thou hast hated. I will even gather them round about against thee and will discover thy nakedness unto them that they may see all all thy nakedness, and I will judge thee as a woman that break wedlock and shed blood or judged, and I will give thee blood and fury and jealousy, and I will also give thee into thy, their hand, and they shall throw down thine eminent place, and shall break down thy places. They shall strip thee also of thy clothes, and shall take thy fair jewels, and leave thee naked and, and bare. They shall also bring up a com company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones, and thrust thee through with their swords. And they shall burn their houses with fire, and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women. And I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot, and thou also shalt give no hire any more. So will I make that my fury toward thee to rest, and my jealousy shall depart from thee. And I will be quiet, and will be no more angry, because thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth, but hast fretted at me in all these things. Behold, therefore I also recompense thy way upon thine head, saith the Lord God and thou shalt not commit this lewdness above all thine abominations. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. Thou art my thy da mother's daughter that loatheth her husband and her children, and thou art the sister of thy sisters which loathe their husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amorite. And thine elder sister is Samaria, she and her daughters that dwell at thy left hand, at thy young sister that dwelleth at thy right hand is Sodom and her daughters yet hast thou not walked after their ways or nor done after their abominations but as if that were a very little thing thou was corrupted more than they all in all ways as I live saith the Lord God Sodom thy sister had not done she nor her daughters as thou hast done thou and thy daughters behold this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom pride fullness of bread and abundance of idleness within her and in her daughters neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy and they were haughty and committed abomination before me therefore i took them away as i saw good neither has samaria committed half of thy sins but thou hast multiplied thy abominations more than they and hast justified thy sisters in all thy abominations which thou hast done thou also which hast judged thy sisters Bear thine own shame for thy sins that thou hast committed more abominable than they. They are more righteous than thou. Yea, but thou confounded also and bear thy shame and that thou hast justified thy sisters. When I shall bring again their captivity, the captivity of Sodom and her daughters and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters, then will I bring again the captivity of thy captives in the midst of them, that thou mayest bear thine own shame and mayest be confounded in all that thou hast done in that thou art a comfort unto them. When thy sister Sodom and her daughter shall return to their former estate, and Samaria and her daughter shall return to their former estate, then thou and thy daughter shall return to your former estate. For thy sister Sodom was not mentioned by thy mouth in the day of thy pride. 
before thy wickedness was discovered, as at the time of thy reproach of the daughters of Syria, and all that are round about her, the daughters of the Philistines, which despised thee round about, thou hast borne thy lewdness and thine abomination, saith the Lord. For thus saith the Lord God, I will even deal with thee as thou hast done, which hath the ass despised the oath and breaking the covenant. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Covenant, then thou shalt remember thy ways and be ashamed when thou shalt receive thy sisters, thine elder and thy younger, and I will give them unto thee for daughters, but not by thy covenant. And I will establish my covenant with thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, that thou mayest remember and be confounded, and never open thy mouth any more, because of thy shame when I am pacified toward thee for all that thou hast done, saith the Lord God. Friends, thank you for coming. That was the reading of the 16th chapter of the book of Ezekiel, a rather long one. But friends, we see how uh, those cities were spoken against. And what about the cities that we live in today?